Deep below the streets of the Seoul metropolitan area, something's stirring. In fact, more churning and blasting. Below the sewers and the regular subway rail system, construction work to build the GTX or Great Train Express is in full swing. This is set to be the world's fastest underground rail network, with a maximum speed of 180 kilometers an hour. Yes, this is another one of those future meets reality things. With the promise of traveling right from the far reaches of Incheon to Seoul in around 20 minutes, a journey that would be around an hour at best right now. That could revolutionize transport in and around Seoul, especially for daily commuters. According to the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport at a recent press briefing, the average daily commute in the Seoul area is 133 minutes, nearly five times the OECD average of 28 minutes. I was at that briefing and we were then invited to descend more than 50 meters below Ilsan to view the solution for ourselves, with the GTX aiming to cut metropolitan area commuting times by more than 70%. It was dark, wet and muddy in that tunnel beneath Ilsan's water table. The rock was also particularly hard there, so they're having to use explosives to painstakingly advance around 3 meters per day. We were also shown how tunnel boring machines make lighter work of other sections. Unlike Seoul's subway trains with their slow and steady rumble around more than 700 stops, the GTX will race without having to slow down so much. There will be three lines, A, B and C. Line A is set to be finished by 2023, while B and C will start work in the next two to three years. They will cover 33 stations across 237 kilometers. For people traveling from satellite cities in Gyeonggi province across the Seoul metropolitan area, where around half of the nation's population are based, that is a real game changer. For me personally, I love the clean, efficient affordability of Seoul subway and usually travel shorter distances, but it would be nice if rush hours were less congested because those going further could use the GTX. Still, the tunneling process has been slowed down by more than just rock and earth. Here in Gwanghwamun, there is a special consideration. Buried cultural artifacts, slowing down underground work. Also, there have been concerns to consider from various parties, including residents, about the impact of the GTX and its construction. Overall, this does fit with the government's effort to cool down Central Seoul's real estate market and encourage balanced regional growth, at least in those lucky connected satellite cities. With high-speed solutions come high stakes and high cost. We're talking to the tune of well over 10 billion US dollars to get the whole GTX project moving. But if it works well, other cities around the world will be jumping aboard the Great Train Express.